Yahya bin Aksam, who is one of the wise men of Mamun's age, and the caliphs after it, asked the Imam Ali some many questions through a letter which were replied by him. The questions of Yahya and the response given by the Imam Ali are as under. Question number one. When Suleiman demanded that the throne of Queen Bilqis of Sheba, his minister Asif Barkhaya said, I can bring the throne for you in the time of winking of an eye. Why did Suleiman Islam, himself not do that? Did he himself not have the knowledge? The answer is, whatever Asif did was through Suleiman Islam, and he had received the wisdom and knowledge from him. Since Suleiman was a prophet, he had the capacity and power to perform all of these works. But because of that, he wanted to introduce his successor to the people and make them aware of his station. He, of his station, he assigned him to this work. Question number two: On the basis of Quranic version, when Yaqub went to Canaan along with his sons to see Hazrat Yusuf Alaihissalam, all fell down into prostration before Hazrat Yusuf Alaihissalam. Why did a prophet like Yaqub perform prostration for Yusuf, whereas prostration is pre- specified only for God? This prostration was not for use of, but as a thanksgiving to God. Just like the prostrations of angels for Adam, even though they did not perform it for Adam, but prostration to God as gratitude and thankfulness regarding this creation to him. Question number three. Based upon the Quran's narration, if the edibles and beverages of paradise are for the sake of pleasure, then why was Adam forbidden to eat the grapes and was expelled from paradise? As God wanted to try and test Adam, Hazrat Adam Islam, he commanded him not to obey his wife Hawa and not to eat from that tree. But he opposed it, and as a result, he was thrown out from the heaven. Question number four: Why did Imam Ali Islam order his men in the Battle of Jamal to chase and bring effect the pursuit of only the warriors and not to kill those who ran away or were not armed or, or injured? But in Safin. He ordered to kill them all, whether armed or unarmed, injured or injured or uninjured, whomsoever they found and laid hands upon. Why was this difference in orders? Since the battle of Jamal was a battle of Islam versus Islam, and a battle between a deceived Muslim against another Muslim, but the battle of Safin was a battle of infidels against Islam. It was a combat between Muslims appearing infidels and the real Islam. The next day, Yahya bin Aksam asked all the wise men present in the assembly of Harun, when Adam, Hazrat Adam al-Islam, went to perform Hajj and visit the house of God, who shaved his head off. All of them were unable to give an answer to him. They put the question to Imam Hadi al-Islam, and he said, Gabriel, the angel of God. Yahya took pleasure and enjoyed the answers of the Imam al-Islam and admitted to the knowledge station of the Imam in the presence of all. Imam's Judgment During the time of the Abbasid Caliph al-Mutawakkal, a lady claimed that she was Bibi Zainab, the daughter of Bibi Fatma s.a.w. The Abbasid Caliph said, Many long years have passed since that period when Zainab lived, and you are quite young. She replied, Yes, but the Prophet Muhammad s.a.w. drew his hand upon my head and prayed for me to li- remain young forever. So, as such, after every forty years, I turn back to become young. And Mutawakka called upon all the wise men to visit him and inquired for them. What do you say about the claim of this woman? All of them t- said she tells a lie. And Mutawakka said, I know that she is lying, but what proof and logic do you have to condemn her? They said, We do not know. Imam Ali Naki Islam should solve this problem. And Mutawakka at once summoned Imam Ali Naki Islam and told him about the matter. Imam Ali Naki Islam said, Send her to the cage of the lions if she is telling the truth. Because the beast do not molest the children of Bi Fatma Salamulaleha and do not eat their flesh. Mutawakal said to the woman, What do you say? She said, This man wishes that I may be killed. If he is right, then let him do it himself. Mutawakal said, She is right. You must first do it yourself. Um, Imam Ali Naki Alaihissalam replied, There is no hurdle to it. He went to the lions in the cage and sat among them. All observed with amazement that the lions sat very respectfully before the Imam Ali Naki Islam and sometimes carried themselves against his body and he carries their bodies with his hand affectionately. When the Imam Ali Naki Islam ordered that they may, might move to a corner, all of them crept to a nook. Then Imam Ali Naki Islam came out of the cage and went to Al-Mutawakkal and said, O woman, now it is your turn. 
The woman started crying and begging, saying, I told a lie. I am the daughter of such and such man, and I wanted to play a trick and hoax, but it did not work. 